the feces species. God. Oh, no. <laughs> the no. feces. Round and run. What rhymes with jogger? I need a jogger or a runner. The logger jogger. The logger jogger. <laughs> the... I'm on tonight. I'm sorry. The, I got this one. The logger jogger. I mean, that's, just, that's the most upsetting thing, I think. That that's we, what she's pat, pissed about. We need to get David to set up some security cameras <laughs> in this neighborhood in Colorado Springs. I don't understand why Walt... So see, like, that was like... They have some good video. I mean, that, uh, so those of you at home, we they showed us a bunch of clips of her jogging and her after effects. Not necessarily her doing it. Her <laughs> after effects is a funny <laughs> choice of words. Here's, here's, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. So we saw her in those in those images that yeah. the news were showing. She looked like a very fit person, oh, like yeah. a very like in shape, sort of skinny, one of those like marathon type people. Maybe she's training to do one of those like ultra marathons. And from what I've heard from these people who do these like ultra marathons and stuff, like if you gotta go, you gotta go. Like, she's wearing a unitard. That's it. You know, like if you gotta go, you got. She is wearing a unitard. Yeah. Let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> Super <laughs> villain. No, I'm telling you. She just escaped from the circus. How does she poop without exposing her breasts to everyone? <laughs> Sorry, oh, on. yeah, that's right. <clears throat> now that I think In about it. In the picture, it, she's wearing a unitard. She, and almost all the pictures we saw, she was wearing a unitard, which means, for those of you who don't wear unitards at home. Yeah, you know, tell us about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Do you wear them often? Yeah, I wear them often. This and PJs, PJs. you have to take the whole thing off to use the <laughs> you bathroom. Have to take the whole thing off. Especially if you're going poopy. Okay, so... People have caught her <laughs> poopy. You said poopy. So she, was she out there just pants around the ankles, unitard around the ankles, Unit- flash and dash and log Duking. and jogging? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Is that the her super finisher move? Doing super a little prairie dogging. Prairie dogging. Oh. She's got a little turtle head. So okay. God. Oh. Okay. I hate her to come okay. Back. Well, here's the thing. She gets caught. I mean, honestly, what's her punishment here? What are the decent cops exposure, do? right? She can be if she does that more. It could be a decent exposure to get, a minor. I know, but if you get that yeah. three times, you become a sex offender. Yeah, can is you it, it three strikes? I to be a sex offender? No, 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 no. Because no, no. listen to this. Like, so, so we have three times. No, we're no, no. Whip our, our, dick our, out. no, no, no. Listen, our one of one of our buddies. <laughs> listen, plan them out. Plan them out. Listen, I don't know if it's three or not, but one of our buddies that me and you both know, okay. Got an indecent exposure charge because he was peeing outside. Yeah. I've heard of that all. Yeah, I've heard yeah, that. At, yeah, when he was in OU at a party. Yeah, and so, and so you if you be get vi- so many, I think it's two or maybe one. I don't know, but like if you get two of them, I but think I think you can it, register. I think offender. you're right. I mean, you have you run the risk of becoming a sex offender for something as stupid and mundane as this, and the penalties for being a sex offender is horrific. You know, that's a good question about law. Now I know about uh, law. I don't want to get into like law enforcement because I know there's a lot of there's a lot of animosity towards. Oh God, I, I'm not even going to get into that. I think we should. I just want to talk about. Yeah, I just want to talk about <laughs> this in general because we did have a friend who got caught for peeing on something and got an indecent exposure. And did he have to register? Is it? No, no, no. But if you were like within like a certain amount from like a playground or a school or something, right? It becomes you, a higher a higher offense. potential for you to become a registered sex offender. Is yeah. it? Is it? Is it? But I honestly think I don't it's even twice. Know I, hold on, I don't even know if I believe this, but like, is that kind of a dick move by the cop to do that? Like, if you were if you were like a drunk guy in OU taking a pee on something, like, is it kind of a dick move to take it that far? Now, I th- like, I would think so. It's a not little the police bit. that make that decision. That's it's the judge. So the judge is the one that. But he, you're getting arrested. If he's publicly for. intoxicated, then they're just gonna they take you in to keep you safe. Essentially, mm-hmm. I mean. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, they could have like been like, "Hey, his friends are with him." You know, they could have been like, "Hey, take your buddy home and don't do that again." You know, give him a warning at yeah. least. Right. Unless he was being a jackass, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I, there's like what you're saying. People have these these mixed feelings about what's going on with cops right now. So you know, I know we don't want to touch on it, but you don't know what ha- you don't know what transpired before that. Yeah, Those, the events leading up to what happened, right. you you're don't right. know. You're yeah, right. it's hard to blanket that that decision i mean you it's such a tough thing like you can hear about like high school 18 year olds doing what 18 year olds do to their 17 year old girlfriend very consensual and because of it's a 17 year old you get sex offender you know but in I mean? ohio it's, i thought it was like 16 well regardless let's you know what i mean <laughs> let's let's just move on yeah that one. <laughs> so it's very sketchy i'm just saying that's what i thought it was in ohio legal consent i have a very abrupt <laughs> Exactly change of do. topic from that. <laughs> uh, there's something we haven't talked about yet on the show. Um, and I don't want to be the one that brings it up. All right. 
Oh. Uh, why are you getting so close to me? I was just leaning. Oh. Dude, what's that red balloon behind you? Um, Don't. Oh, uh, so we saw it, guys. We saw <laughs> it. I think we talked about doing a spoiler cast, but let's just let's just cover it briefly here. Okay. Um, what were your guys' overall impressions of it? Why? I know you've seen it twice. Yes, I went out of five um, butt grabs. So I uh, went again on oh, you uh, did? on a Monday. Oh. So we all saw it at on um, Friday, the day that it came out, and then I. During the day, I you know I, I only worked a couple hours at work. I was done at two, and I was like, "Hey, I got nothing to do." And I went to a matinee showing for five dollars and saw it by myself again. I will let you know this, guys at home: best movie of the year. I liked it better than Spider Man, and I can't imagine Star Wars beating this. I honestly think that this was the absolute best movie that has come out this year, hands down. Best Stephen King movie that's come out. I think all the actors did just unbelievably amazing i think the clown was in the perfect amount not too much where it's just not you know not interesting but not enough to where you could you wish you had more every time scars guard was in that clown suit was just absolutely fantastic i think i wish it could be up for some kind of academy award maybe best costume or maybe a best makeup of screenplay or something like that yeah makeup that would be a good one i think it deserves something i'm sure it'll win awards maybe not necessarily academy award but if you have not seen it, and maybe you don't like scary movies, just to let you know, it's honestly not that scary unless you're Buddy. Um, <laughs> also, I was terrified. I was well, terrified. I was pretty scared. But there, there's not a lot of jump moments. It's more of a scary situation, and uh, it's actually very funny. And those kids are very entertaining. And there's even li- and the music is absolutely fantastic at it. Um, and it's not gory. It's not um, like. Obviously, it's it's. I believe it's R, so it's not something maybe you want to take your kids to. But it's not like like Hostel or Saw, where they purposely try to make it as gory as possible. That and that's the scare they're trying to get. They just want scary situations. They're not relying on jump scares or gore. Yeah, I just absolutely love that movie, and that's somebody that grew up terrified of clowns. I I would also, because of it. Yeah. Okay. So to back that up a little bit, um, I would say that the the best thing about the movie that I thought was how it told the stories of each individual yep. through, through their fear moments. You, yeah, right. you didn't know exactly what the fuck that meant because you didn't have context. But as as they described it to the friends and what they were seeing at that very moment and everything like that, you got a feeling for, oh, this is what happened. Like when the guy talked about how his parents died in that fire. And it was like, holy shit. Like that's insane. I was terrified. Cause I was like, what, what the fuck? Is, why are these hands coming out of that door? What is going on? Why is there people screaming? Like, what the fuck is going on? And even though they did all of what you just explained, and it is quite a long movie, it didn't feel long. I almost, like, when, like, I thought that maybe the movie was almost over, I didn't want it to be over, and there was still more for it to come. Uh, yeah, pun intended. So, so I will, oh. I, I will say Darn. that I actually did feel like it was too long. That was my only knock against it. I really liked it. How a long lot. was it? Two hours forty minutes. No, no, no. no. it's actually wasn't it really long. It's though? two hours and about fifteen minutes. That's okay. long for it a is. horror movie. That, it that, is. That's really long. Usually um, a movie is an hour and forty five. And, 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 and again, like that's my only knock against it. I think otherwise it was it was fantastic. I think it was so much more stand by me than a horror movie. Like, it was so much more like a grow, a coming of age for these kids that are, like, just out on the other side of puberty now and, like, how they deal with a pretty girl that comes into their group and, like, you know, the sort of, like, jealousy that goes back and forth about who gets the pretty girl or who gets to, like, you know, be the one that has the first pass at flirting with the pretty girl. and Or a kiss. Yeah, and, yeah. and so all that stuff to me was really cool and it reminded me of, of growing up in, in some ways. Which I wasn't really expecting that this movie to have as much heart as it had, but it did have a lot of heart, and I thought that was maybe my favorite part about it was the interaction between yeah. the kids. Do you, I also like the fact that it was more—it was like a coming of age almost. But they, like the experience they had go by going through this, made them grow up a lot faster and realize that there's a lot more to life and a lot more to like not really to fear. Yeah. Things that that happen to you, you know, because everything's a learning experience. If you see this movie uh, and you do enjoy it, I would. 
do some maybe some research. There's a, so much, so many interesting Easter eggs. There's a lot of things that it comes with the behind the scenes where the kids didn't even see the clown to, for after two months of filming. They never even saw Skarsgård in the suit until they filmed there. Um, his lazy eye is real. The drooling was due to the prosthetics. He can actually smile like that. Yeah, and his smile is real. That's yeah. that's Get a the real fuck smile. Out of here, no yeah, way. that's a real smile. Mm-hmm. And he's drooling because of the prosthetics. So they said just go with it, and he did, and he does fantastic. And certain things that they add in there that weren't part of the story, but were part of the book. Um, which were really cool, but I don't know if they're necessarily going to incorporate that into the sequel. Um, it's absolutely an amazing background of that movie. Um, hands down, I think if you can tolerate scary movies, um, this movie is for you. I'm interested to hear what Buddy's thought was of it because he truly yeah. is not a horror I hate, fan. I hate scary movies, but I did actually like this movie, and I think it's for a lot of reasons you guys said it was more heartwarming, it was funnier than I thought it would be wasn't big on jump scares like it was very i hate scary movie friendly because i could anticipate when to cover my eyes (laughs) which he did which Which i did a few times um that being said (laughs) i don't like going near drains anymore and uh i i wasn't super scared of clowns going into it but now i don't really like clowns as much but it um I'd, I'd still recommend going to see I thought it was a pretty well done movie uh, that, I think yeah. it win some awards that so. famous Georgie scene at the beginning I thought was it was very well done it was different enough that it's their own take but still didn't get away from the source material um, I just think Skarsgård was uh, absolutely amazing yeah. and I'm glad and I hope people don't and it, I haven't seen this a lot in a lot of the reviews and people talking about it that they're like well he's not Tim Curry he's not Tim Curry people are like nah he did fun. Tim Curry did great. Skarsgård did great. Yeah, that's that's I the think bottom they're to, line. They're totally separate characters. The yeah. way that the way um, Tim Curry uh, per, like portrays it, and the way uh, Skarsgård portrays it, because mm-hmm. Skarsgård's absolutely terrifying and more of like a fucking weird ass clown, and then Tim Curry's more like a clown that could be like doing blow up animals next to yeah, you and shit like, like a that. real clown, like a real fucking clown. Yeah. But that's the only thing that I like. I wish. They went more from the clown side of like making it look like more of a legitimate person instead of that weird ass head shaped oblong Hey Arnold head. That's mm-hmm. the only thing that I didn't like that much about it. That like, but like overall the story is great, and I would say definitely agree with all of us. Uh, definitely go see it. It's mm-hmm. an eighty five percent on Rotten Tomatoes and eight out of eight out of ten on IMDb. Yeah, I yeah, think it's the best movie that came out. And I'm, right, I'm right there with the score. Two hours, two hours and fifteen minutes. That's how long the movie is. Yeah. I would say I'm right around, like, I, I would give it a four out of five on my yeah. skill. Four out of five stars. I four butt grabs out of four five? Four butt grabs out of five, baby. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I liked, I liked it a lot. Uh, what, you, so, what about you? Uh, yeah. I, I, four? It's hard to rank for me because I don't like scary movies, but I'd give it, like, a four out of five, too. Four butt slappies grabbies. Four butt slappy grabbies. Guys, it is that time of the Hold On To Your Butts podcast where we talk about topics. Yes, these fine gentlemen seated before me will bring topics to this very table <laughs> to discuss and break down in a round table style to get to the bottom of a uh, juicy what if story, uh, maybe a game, uh, maybe just a basic conversation topic. Who knows? Remember that you can submit a topic to the crew here just by emailing us at geeks, that's G E E K S, at H O T Y B dot co. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today's topic, I'm going to hijack the first one because I didn't have one until we started talking earlier about the Mario Odyssey. But <clears throat> this is just, I want to feel out the room. This doesn't have to be a super in-depth topic, but we've seen maybe, maybe the best year in video games that I can remember in my life in 2017 in terms of amazing releases because there were some amazing releases this year. And I want to get sort of a uh, the third quarter poll, if you will. Like, we're, we're rounding third here on our home stretch to the end of the year. And we will have a Game of the Year show where we discuss and decide on a Game of the Year. But I want to feel it out right now in this topic. What do we think the Game of the Year is and who should be in the conversation for Game of the Year? Uh, What's that new game coming out that you guys were talking about? Coming out for Xbox? It's coming out uh, for Xbox. Uh, Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds. Oh, is that's that true. Yeah. I think. No, I would say that would be that, my is that suggestion. Scorpio on Scorpio or no? No. It's the, so Scorpio it is. It, yeah, they're all the same family of Xboxes. No new yeah. console. There's not going to be one game that's just for. Because I, I, what was that Xbox game X. that you guys were talking about? That like, 
Remember the vi- the video that me and you watched where the you she jumped off like that cliff? Oh, into the um, river? yeah, the anthem. No. Oh. Uh, boo, 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 boo. What is that game? It's called Anthem. Yeah, it's called Anthem. That's what it's it is. It's not released yet or no, this year. It doesn't no. come out until oh, 2018. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so so far this but year. But yes, I think that would be game of the year if it did come out. So 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 far this year. This year. Uh, okay. And then like also taking into account the games that haven't been released yet that are probably going to be in the conversation. So I, I think Zelda is definitely in there. For Game of the Year.